So I guess for my whole life, I just wanted to be okay and, um, and to be able to help people and support people. And to try and be okay, it was just like trying to get more positive feelings and trying to get rid of all the negative feelings. So when I was sad, I would just like do something else. I would never let people see if I was sad because, you know, everyone's expectations of me was that I was Judith and I was always happy. But actually, I wasn't always happy. And um, so, you know, I would go and do more of this and less of this and hang around these people because they made me happy and not hang around those people and wear these clothes because they made me feel good and just like micromanaging everything. Like my whole day was just like, like trying to, you know, feel good. And um, when I found this training, I actually thought I was completely happy. I wasn't looking for anything. My life was just totally what I saw as just being fine, you know. I had a job, I had a boyfriend, I had all the like conventional tick, tick, ticks. And um, then I came here and I just realized that there was just a much easier way to live. Um, and of course, like doubts and everything arose and I was just like, oh, no, it's not for me. Like that's not possible with my, with what goes on in my head because, you know, no one really knows what goes on in my head. So the promises they make, like, uh-uh, not for me. And um, yeah, just to, to, I just let myself go completely. And I just saw that, that what Balance View gave me was just like the tools to see through everything that I ever thought limited me and just opened up a whole world where I'm just completely limitless in anything that I can do or, and achieve and how I can relate to people and how I can relate to myself. And it's just the best gift that I've ever received in my life. Um, <laughs> And I can say now that it's just like, I'm completely happy all the time and nothing has changed. And, you know, I'm, you know, I woke up this morning with that thought about my holiday and then like, oh, what are my friends going to think? And all of a sudden I was completely sad about going home. And then it's just like tap into that short moment. And I just see that nothing's changed from the moment before when I was completely happy. It's just like the same, that same stability. And, um, so if I was still following all my thoughts, I'd just be like up and down, up and down, up and down. But here I see that I can just be completely like this, totally stable all the time and just be responsive and active as well to all situations. Um, and I guess I should just share about like being able to just love everyone for who they are. and. Um, what I came, what I found when I met the community and when I came here was that from the second I walked in here, I was just allowed to be exactly who I was with no expectations of how I should act or what I should say or what I should be doing, just like the complete permission field to be myself. And I've never met people that really support each other to do this. Um, you know, I've met sort of people that I thought were open-minded and just felt very disempowered. And here it's just like constant empowerment of allowing myself to just be. And I'm so grateful to have found this sort of love in myself with all of my imperfections and all the things that just I completely hate about myself that I can see complete, that I can see now are really just amazing. and really powerful parts of me that allow me to act and, and interact with all of you and um, just seeing that this love that when you find that real love in yourself and that just that power in yourself, it, it just expands to everyone else and you just see everyone as just like the perfect display of just themselves and how everything should be because they're just reflecting back to you just the, that you're allowed to be exactly as you should be. And it's like, it's almost funny that the way that I reacted to people before this training, it's just like so unkind to expect people to be a certain way, you know, like my boyfriend, I feel sorry for him for the years we spent before he like trying to just change him all the time, you know, all these ifs and buts about everyone that I loved so much, you know, I love you, but, 
you're amazing, but if only you were more like this, if only you did this, and I mean, <laughs> like, to have the support of the mainstays, to be able to allow like all of these ifs and buts to still come up, because it's so natural that they do, and to just be able to blast them open with complete support and just see total love and power in them. It's like, I've never experienced anything like it in my life. And, um, and I'm just so grateful for everything that it's given me, just expanding all my relationships and the support here. I was always too proud to take the support in the first little while, I was just like, no, nah, I can do it on my own, you know. Talking to a trainer is just such a bizarre concept. Um, it's just like, yeah, just I felt like it was really strange to that all of a sudden I wouldn't have any friendships other than my trainer and, you know, just by email it's so strange. And when I just opened up to that more and more, I just saw that reliance on my trainer, my amazing trainer, <laughs> was just such a gift to everyone around me and to myself because all of a sudden there was all this free time in all of my relationships to enjoy them as they are and to enjoy all my experiences for exactly what they are because I'm not looking for them for well-being and I'm not looking into my experiences or friends for satisfaction or to feel loved and I can just write to my trainer if something comes up and she just totally helps me to blow it completely open and um, I mean, even just seeing all of you every day, sometimes I walk in here with a thousand things going on in my head and I just walk into the gate and it's just like someone will say hello and it's just like, bang, everything's just gone and you're just taken back to the simplicity of like our perfection.